Welcome to this virtual trip report for the Wind River at 5.7 feet. I'm rowing raft today. I really like this raft. It's a nice color. It's an Air 130R. I'm really digging this boat. And it's also just two of us, which I'm going to say is generally not good practice. We're doing it. Uh, we want to go boating. Both John and I each have 100 plus runs on the wind, and we feel very comfortable. But you'll see we're also running pretty tight. Like, I'm going to be pretty close to him. If I fall out, I want him close so he can rescue me. But also, if he's going to fall out, I need to be close enough so I can, like, catch up with him. And so you'll see as I'm rowing down, I'm adapting to a style. If he's pulling, I'm probably pulling. If he's pushing, I'm probably pushing. We're staying really tight. And again, just because there's just two of us going to pay close attention, although we know the run well and we feel very comfortable on it, we're still paying attention to that. Uh, the other thing is I'm running spinnies, or, I mean, I guess these are or locks with or rights, and these are convertible or rights. Uh, going back to a conversation I had with a friend um, on our YouTube channel about or rights and not or rights, I thought I'd try them both out again. I normally want to run pins and clips on the wind. I just like pins and clips more. I think they're better for this style of boating. But today, I just changed it up just to like get a feel for how, they, how they're how they doing, and they do fine. Uh, again, right now, you can see I have the or rights in, and they're they're... So the blade stays at the same angle. And for a rapid like that, I don't really need to feather. And honestly, it's probably kind of a negative. So I, I like that the, the blade is locked in place. So again, I'd prefer pins and clips, but the rights are really fine. Uh, that last rapid was initiation. And now we're headed into one we call grandma's. I'm not sure why it's called grandma's, but it's just called that. And it's a fun time. And you'll see again, I'm staying pretty close to John. I'm, I normally run this rapid on the right side, but John went middle, so I went middle. And again, that's just because we're two boats. We're a two-boat trip. I need to be running at a similar pace than him in a similar line. And so if I went right, he might go way faster than me and get way ahead. So uh, as a second boat on a two-boat trip, I'm adapting to his lines and his style. That's sort of my responsibility. So we're headed down right down below here. There's a regroup eddy for Ramshorn. We re usually regroup. John was feeling good today, so he kept going. And I call this whole rapid Ramshorn. Some people call it just the bottom Ramshorn, but I say this whole long section. It's just one long rapid, and I, it starts off like the class, you know, three minus move, which we just did. There's like a three plus move, then there's a four minus move, and then there's a four plus move. So it gradually gets harder as you go down and as the water goes up it will feel like one long rapid not just a series of rapids and just to point out again i'm, I'm following him really close i'm i'm boating but i'm really thinking about my spacing the whole time like how can i maintain this spacing while i'm running the rapids which is a fun challenge for me i really enjoy it Also notice I took off the or rights. I, these are convertible or rights, so I can spin them. So right now I'm running spinnies, which means my or blade can spin just to play with it, just to see what it feels like. I haven't done it in a while. And I can tell you after running this rapid, I really wished I had the or rights. I did fine. You can see it's not a big deal, but I don't really have a need to be feathering here. I'm taking short, strong strokes and I'm not doing any super feathering stuff. So what happens when I can feather, when I have spinnies, is the blade can get twisted in this difficult swirly water. And so I have to be paying close attention to blade control when it shouldn't really matter. I just need power on occasion here, not finesse moves. So you saw you saw it spin right there. I wasn't stoked on how the left or spun right there. But uh, it just reinforced to me, you know, spinnies are great. I really enjoy spinnies on like class two and three. But on like harder like class four and five, I don't really like them. I don't see a value in the blade spinning. Actually, I think it's a negative. So I'm going to generally choose to either run or rights on rapids like this or, again, pins and clips like I mentioned before. So anyway, we're heading down into the bottom part of Ramshorn. This is the bottom drop. For those of you looking to run up, there is a right line over there. Uh, again, I'm adapting to John's style. So he's going left. I'm going left. I give him a little bit of room just in case he got surfed in a hole there. Uh, and I'm pretty close behind him. The key to this rapid is turning here and right here, drive, there's a hole on my left right there, driving left below that hole. And if you do, it's not a big deal. If you don't do that, you end up in the middle, which can be a little bit messy. And this next rapid coming up, I don't really know if it has a name. Uh, it's a really fun rapid. Uh, maybe the rapid after Ram's Horn, maybe it does have a name. 
But this is a fun little rapid where uh, the key is have fun at higher water. Watch out for some big holes. And there is a sieve on the bottom of the left. It would be hard to go into that sieve, but it's worth knowing about just in case you swim. And right now I feel like I'm a little further back from John than I'd like to be. You'll notice I'm trying to catch up a little bit, doing some push moves, but also making sure I have good lines. But on this kind of run with just two of us, I'd like to be closer. These pull strokes I'm doing now to make this maneuver, I'm a little bummed to have to do them, but I want to take care of myself first. And you can see now I'm actually catching up with him. He's slowing down. But we have to work together to maintain that spacing. So I felt like I was too far back, and in the rapid we got caught back up, which is nice. So this is a great eddy just to sort of get ready again or reset. And you see I just put the all rights back down. So I ran spinnings through Ram's Horn, but I kind of enjoyed the all rights, so I went back to them for balls to the wall right, which is the next rapid. This eddy is a great place to just reset. Ram's Horn is the biggest rapid on the run. We just finished it, but there's more coming up. So it's good to just take a break, check your gear, drink some water, and then get ready for balls to the wall right. And if I'm kayaking or paddle boating, I'm taking a right line here. So I'm on the right side right now, but below here, there's a right line. So just past here, see how John's getting left? And again, in a kayak and a paddle boat, I'd go to the right. But in the oar boat, I'm going to go middle because on the right side, you just don't have anywhere to use your oars. It's just too narrow to actually use your oars. With this middle line, you can still put your oars in the water and make some maneuvers. And I've seen a lot of flips. This is where I've seen more flips than anywhere else on the wind. Uh, mainly oar boats or people going right and losing control and riding up on that rock down there. And in an oar boat, that's a really fun line here to kind of pull back behind that rock, kind of surf over, and then drop over that hole. It's an awesome rapid. And after a little bit of boogie water comes out, balls to the wall left. The traditional line for all boats is to enter left and go left. I really like this technical right line. It's a really narrow shoot. It's a good challenge for me. So I typically start in the shallows on the right and then get back to the left. I'm letting John get a little further ahead of me than I normally would because I know this is an easier rapid. He'll be fine. But he's a bit exposed. If I'm goofing off over there on the right and he falls in, he could go for a long swim because I'm not, I'm not at safety. So I'm trying to quickly get back in that position for safety for him. In case he has a swim and me like if i have a swim he's my safety so i could go for a long swim especially if he's not looking back next up is morning wood it's called that because there used to be a piece of wood in the middle of the rapids so we had to take some pretty weird lines and you'll see here i'm staying close to john and i get a bit too close now i'm a bit close and if he keeps pulling i could almost touch him and you'll see this is a chance where I actually get super close to him which is fine uh, the goal here is to I didn't touch him but I got close and I chose a different line so he wouldn't collide and in my opinion I'd rather have you collide once in a while than be too far apart and not rescue a swimmer a collision is not a big deal um, but being able to like change your line or do something different to avoid that collision I think is really important I can't say enough of how important this tight boat spacing is when it's just two boats or the first two boats need to be tight in case one of them swims because there's not a good downstream safety net. The second last rapid is climax. The traditional line is where John went down the middle, but I'm going to take the harder left line just to challenge myself a little bit today. This is a tough line in the oar boat and I did fine. I got a little tossed, which, I wished I had pins. When that happens, I want pins and clips because I stay in place. But I did just fine with my oar rights and my open or, my oar locks. I'm not sure. Is it called open oar locks if you use oar rights? Or is that, is that term only associated with spinnies? I don't know. Anyway, that was Climax. And this is the very last rapid. It's a fun little affair. I usually go right. There's a nice little hole. And, yeah, that's it for the wind. It was a great day. This is the first couple miles where the rapids were. We had another few miles of class two and three. I didn't share a video of that. If you got through all this stuff, the rest of it is a piece of cake. Um, yep, thanks for joining. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like if you could. And yeah, I'll see you in the next virtual trip report.